Welcome to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. We're starting on a double hive removal in one house. We think it's two, maybe three. They're on either side of the chimney over there between the first and second floor. So we're gonna get prepared and go ahead and start pulling a, a soffit board down. Here's what we're dealing with. There's a hive on this side of the chimney with a interested observer. <laughs> and then there's at least one on this side. Could be two. They're going in here and here and way over here. So I'm not sure if it's one wide one or two hives. But we're about to find out. You backing up here? Because I'm in the flight path. This is called bee proctology. <laughs> <laughs> In the soffit or in the floor? Well, that's the hard, that's the uh, difficult thing. There it is. Uh, it's hard to tell which way is up and down when you're looking at this. <laughs> They're right, it's right there. Behind the chimney? Yeah. Well, shoot. Okay. If we pull out the soffit, can we get to it? Well, we found them. This is pretty unusual. They're about three foot up in the floor framing. <laughs> we can't even reach them from the outside. Look, there's a mouse skeleton right there. <laughs> Not the shows, but there they are. So there's definitely more than one hive here. There's one here, one over by the chimney. We have found a way to reach the hive. This is a tool from your uh, blinding me with a headlight. Oh. We ordered this from Daydant. It came express delivery. <laughs> <laughs> we got a spatula and a broom handle reaching up in there getting this, but it's working pretty good. Seems to be so far. We're done pulling that one out. Thankfully it was a small hive and uh, we're kind of engineering our own little setup here. We got some lemongrass oil on a swab. I'm gonna try to draw them out because there's a whole bunch of bees way back in the floor frame in there. Yeah, everybody on the outside is kind of making their way down. You can't really see up in here, so hopefully the camera will show what they're doing. And that hive over there is still coming and going. You got a sting on your bicep, is that from today? Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice one. Yeah, it is. That's all these. That's a lot of these. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's super. Hive number two is open up. Uh, uh, this would be hive number three, I guess. We're going inside for hive number two. We got to cut the floor open for the other one. It's this chimney that's attracting them. They need to tear the chimney down. Oh, Martin's. <laughs> <laughs> it's the oil cans. He hates his oil, <laughs> oil cans. He hates the oil cans. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a little bit of a surrounding area shot. This is Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Twelve thirty. What time is it now? Three thirty. Twelve thirty. 
twelve thirty to four o'clock. I stuffed this smoker at twelve thirty, twelve forty five maybe. And it's still running. One of these days I'll show y'all how to stuff a smoker. I haven't been using it, it's been kind of a standby smoker. But it's been sitting there smoldering all this time, so I'm fishing to repack it. Yeah. Are we going to have to stick the vacuum cleaner hose on a stick and get them? Probably so. Let's go for that inside cutout first and then come back out here. Alright, we're going to do a little demonstration. <laughs> a little experiment. That we didn't get on film. experimentation. See the smoker's, uh, it's lit, but it's really not smoking real good. That one's not. Mine's doing good though. See what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, so what we have here is uh, we've got a supercharger for your B smoker. So we're well, to... tell them what we did. Okay, we're trying to get some bees out of the floor space. They're about five foot up in the uh, floor joist, and we were trying to get some smoke up in past the bees to flush them back out. So we stuck the vacuum hose up into the floor joist area and put the smoker right at the entrance to the vacuum cleaner. So Just, we stuck the exhaust side up in there. Yeah, this is the this is the intake side for there for the vacuum cleaner and this is the exhaust side of the vacuum cleaner. So this is actually a blower now. So we're gonna turn the vacuum on. Let's blow it. Start smoker. <laughs> now we have supercharged smoker. It is getting super red hot. I don't know if you can see it right there. It worked pretty good right until the smoker Woo! burst into flames. <laughs> there it went. That's what happened last time. Except for we weren't expecting it. So, uh, it, it was, we had there was a backfire. It was a little surprise. Worked pretty good, though. <laughs> oh, and uh, we have a, a paper towel soaked with Be Quick in the top of that smoker. So, so we um we were blowing smoke and be quick up in the hole and it scattered them but didn't really drive them out so we'll just have to leave that one sit and go play with another one for a few minutes for a few minutes this one's been three three and a half hours now we're having trouble locating hive number two chimney starts somewhere in there that light coming through the floors where we already opened the soffit or the siding actually. So we we'll pull back the top layer subfloor and can't see anything, so we're fixing to drill some holes and look with the scope, which I know a lot of people are gonna ask what we're doing. This is a crew line digital video inspection scope. <laughs> Watch, I'm going to turn it upside down. Hey, that works pretty good. <laughs> that was, that's by twisting the head on it. I'm videoing myself, videoing myself. <laughs> I'm in the twilight zone. <laughs> your prognosis <laughs> I see a polyp <laughs> oh, that's a nail <laughs> oh. there's a hole beyond where we're looking we're having to get super creative on this one they're under the soffit outside the house but we can't get to them without tearing out brick 
So since we're already part way into the floor upstairs, there's a good view of some comb. Since we're already part way into the floor upstairs, we're gonna take an oscillating saw and cut right across behind that paint line there. There's a floor joist. We're gonna cut right here and then go inside and go down one floor space and cut the other side, run some screws through it and pick it up from inside the upstairs room. We're in the second floor now. We're cutting through the floor. The bees are under the house, so we're gonna just go on and cut all the way through the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's just almost like kicking a chainsaw to the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the top of the soffit board that they're on. Soffit board. And here. We've already made a cut. We're, we're behind the chimney, so really without destroying the chimney. There's not much other way to get into them. You're cut that. You're cut that? Yes. Alright, let's run some screws in so we can grab it. We'll cut the other side and pull them out. There they are right there. Hello girls! There's the back of the, back of the chimney. There's the edge of the chimney right here. Alright, so that's a top plate right there and then the side. Once we pull that side yeah. board out we should be able to get there's, to them. Yeah, there's the top plate. Oh, what is that? That's another two by. That's a just a trim, but one of the supports for the soffit. Okay. Well, if we pull that soffit out, we should be able to get them. Out. Still got to cut that edge of that soffit there. Man, that looks like a radiator hanging in there. <laughs> All right, there gives you a reference. This is a. Pretty big hive, some big sections of comb have already fallen. This ain't gonna be much of a cut out here. This is gonna be more of a dig out and <laughs> just get rid of them. I don't know if we can do much to save them. We're just trying to get them out, basically. And it's not that old, it's a fairly new hive. But it does have a pretty good bit of honey in there. Man, it is so full of honey. See where this is going. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> All right, Beastie Boys. Drop. <laughs> yeah, my phone just dropped. Yeah, nice. Did you get it? Yeah. What up? Oh, <laughs> you didn't have to say it twice. The <laughs> <laughs> oh. proud bars were roping in walls. Yeah, they are. Rib cage is crushed. <laughs> <sighs> That's it. I'm done. I can't get any more. All right, so here's our bucket full of trash cone and drowning bees. 
It is now 6.30 p.m. My smoker has been unmanned while we were working inside. <laughs> I'm such a great smoker user. I'm going to vacuum some first. Uh, let's smoke them and cut a few pieces and then once we can get the hose up in there. These two here are not cooperating. We got the hives cut out. This one behind the chimney was massive. And uh, this is this is two that we could not have done without a BVAC. This one here, a little different story. We probably could do this one without a BVAC. Uh, everything's right there in the in the wide open almost. How about that soffit board? You want me to pull that soffit board down? Oh no, it extends behind the chimney. Never mind. So this one here, we are going to vac a little bit. They're pretty easy to get to. There we got pollen and honey. We got a clean bucket. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's water right there. There's a clean bucket look underneath the trash over there. No, it didn't even do anything to you. Got to the end of that cone. All in one piece. Uh -uh. How far back? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even tell. I mean, I'm I'm looking back in there a good 14 inches. <laughs> it goes way past that. All right. Well, we still got our rake. <laughs> <laughs> Cinematography. <laughs> the fade back. What you think? I'm fixing to hand you some brew. Getting so far back in there, I can't, <clears throat> I can't get past this comb right here to get any more honey without getting stung. So, fixing to cut out a section. It's got a pretty good bit of brew in it. Not a whole lot of brew there. The next piece will. A little bit across the bottom, though. There they are. It turns out this is another massive hive. He can't reach all the way to the back of it, so we're going to have to resort to using our custom hive removal tool. We call it the Reacher. <laughs>
Oh. Muddy honey. <laughs> Are we gonna tear the ceiling out? <sighs> the reacher just broke. So good. Goodness, this stuff's heavy. Well, our freezer's empty. Well, it's got half dead bees and honey in it right now. I know, but if you <laughs> needed to put anything else in there. Yeah, we'll put the rest of it in there when it, when it's ready. Looks like there's plenty to go. Yeah, there's, we still got a long ways to go on this one. Another late night for us. As usual. <laughs> we are uh, several hours from being done. It's 10 o'clock at night, so we're fixing to wrap it up, call it an evening, come back and finish tomorrow. Whew. Two of these hives were just much, much bigger than we anticipated so they are kind of kicking our butt right now so i'll pick up tomorrow <laughs>